Hey, today I'm going to show you how to create a realistic cloth shirt simulation. First we model the shirt and then we simulate it. I show you all my settings to make the shirt super smooth and realistic. And in the end I show you how I made this dress simulation and how I handled the different problems I had. Alright, let's get started. First make sure your model starts in a T-pose and then transitions smoothly in the animation you want. If you don't know how to do this, check out my last tutorial right here. Then let's go into the front view and add in a plane. Move the plane up and rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Let's scale it down, go into the side view and move it in front of the model you have. Let's go back into front view and also activate ghost mode so we can see what's behind. Now I press tab to go into edit mode and with vertex selection on I can press S to scale and X for the X axis and let's bring this one a little bit closer together and let's also move this one down on the Z axis. Make sure those are like the, the width of the shoulders. Let's select the bottom vertexes and bring those up and let's also scale those down on the Z axis and let's make sure those are like right under the arms here. With the edge selection tool, you can select both edges right here. Then press E to extrude, press S to scale and press X to scale it on the X axis. Maybe that was a little bit too much, but just press E, then S and then X to scale those outwards. Let's select the right edge individually and let's rotate it to make it straight. Let's do the same for the other edge. Now we can select both edges again and scale them down on the Z axis. Alright, let's add in some loop cuts. So press Command R, scroll with your mouse wheel to have two and then left click and left click again. Let's select this edge right here. Press Ctrl and select this edge to have everything selected here. Press E to extrude and Z to extrude it on the Z axis. Let's bring it all the way down. And to make the shirt a little bit more round and realistic, we go back into vertex selection. Select both vertexes on the outside and let's move them up and maybe even scale them outwards a tiny bit. To cut out the neck, we select both vertexes at the top here and scale them outwards a little bit. Maybe even move them up a tiny bit and let's select the inner vertexes right here. Let's move them up and also scale them down. Something like this. So we have the neck cut out. Let's go back into face selection mode. Select this face and hit delete face. And as you can see, we already have a cutout of a shirt, but the typology looks super messed up. So we are going to fix this now. With pressing Command R, we can create some loop cuts. So let's create a loop cut right over there and right over here. And we just try to make some, some square typology. And we also try to make those squares kind of the same size. So let's also add in a loop cut over here and a loop cut over here. And let's add in a loop cut in the middle and scale those up to three for now. All right, this looks quite good. If you press A now, we can right click and hit subdivide. Now the subdivision should look quite all right and the typology is good. To make the neck more smooth, we can go into sculpting mode right over here. Let's also go back into front view and activate the mirror modifier on the X axis. And with the smooth selection tool activated, we can just smooth this neck part out. Just make sure if you go into edit mode, the typology looks quite all right, something like this and not super messed up. Good, back in the layout window, we can press A again to select everything and then press E to extrude it outwards and move it all the way to, to the back, just right after the character ends. Now let's deactivate ghost mode and let's go into face mode. And now we need to cut out the shirt parts. So we need to cut out a hole for the neck. All we have to do is select this face right here, 
command select this face right over here and then we can delete the faces. We also need holes on the arms so let's do the same over here and the same on the other side. Last but not least the same technique on the underside right here. Let's delete the faces and now the shirt is cut out. To sew the shirt together we don't need the faces over here so let's go into side view, activate ghost mode again and let's select all those faces over here. If we now press delete, don't delete the faces but only delete the faces. This just means that the edges will stay there and the program knows that those parts should be sewed together. Alright, that's it for the modeling part. Now let's move on to the simulation. First let's select our character and add in a collision modifier and under damping let's set the damping to 1 the thickness outer to 0001, so to the lowest, and the inner thickness also to the lowest. This just reduces flickering for the shirt later. Now let's select the shirt and add in a cloth modifier. Already the first setting is super important because quality steps means how much details the cloth simulation has. And I normally set this to 15. If you have a super complicated scene, you can crank this up all the way to 30. But the higher you go, the longer the caching and the simulation takes. So let's bring this down back to 15 and move on. With the vertex mass, you can also play around later. Normally I use something between 0.1 and 0.3. For now we can leave it at 0.3, but if you have problems just play around with the kilograms right here. Let's scroll down and under collision quality we don't need to crank this up super high, so let's just bring this to 8 and reduce the distance to the lowest value you have. Also activate self collision and reduce the distance here also to the lowest. Now let's go to the last important step, we need to go into shape and activate sewing. This means that those parts are going to get sewed together. If you press play now, the animation would start, but the simulation sometimes crashes the whole program. So rather than that, go into the cache setting. Let's input a smaller value, so from frame 1 to 50 and just hit bake. Alright, after it's baked, you can see something isn't right. And now we come to the fun part, to play around with different settings. What usually helps the most, if we just delete the bake right now, we can go to the shrinking factor. This just means how much the shirt shrinks together in the simulation or puffs up. So normally I use a shrinking factor of minus 0.2. This means that the shirt gets bigger in the simulation. If we bake this now, we can see that the shirt isn't clipping as much as before, but still it looks super janky. How to fix that? In my case, because the shirt is quite small, we put the shrinking factor to minus 0.3 and let's bake this one again. And as you can see, it looks already way better. In this stage, I normally right click and shade smooth just to see how it could look like. And this is, this is all right. Now if you see stuff like this, so you can see the sewing line or the shirt isn't quite together, we can just increase the whole mesh. So we could rather increase the shrinking value right here or we can go into the mesh itself, activate ghost mode and just scale the parts up that needs to be scaled up. Um, Normally I don't like this process but you could do this if you want to be super precise. As I said in the beginning, now we can start playing around with the vertex mass. So let's put the vertex mass to 0.1 and let's simulate this one again. Still it chitters around a little bit, but it looks already way better. You can really change the whole simulation by playing around with the stiffness and damping settings. And the setting that helped me most is the stiffness compression. If you put this one to zero and simulate it, you can see it gets super smooth and not so chanky as before. The only downside of this one is that you don't get the, the normal shirt foldings. So 
to have those a little bit, let's put the compression to one. So it's still quite smooth, but you have still some folding stuff, but maybe this one is quite too much. So let's put the compression to 0.1 and let's see how this one looks. And this one looks way better. And all you have to do now from here on is play around with all the different settings right here. I have to be honest, I, I don't really know exactly what each of these settings do. But as you can see, if you put bending up to 10, it gets super freaky. So don't play around with the damping bending. Just leave this at 0.5. The rest here you can lower to 1. This helped me sometimes in the process. It looks just way smoother. Um, you can also lower the tension at the top here. The shirt gets a little, bit, a little bit less stiff. And yeah, if you found a setting you like, you can increase the cash value right here. So let's put this to 150. And you could also increase the quality steps right now. I put this to 30 and let's simulate this from the beginning. After baking is done, my shirt animation looks quite good, but we can still increase the quality. So let's go into the modifiers tab and add first in a subdivision surface. Let's put this one to two. And as we can see now, we have some clipping. To reduce this or to get rid of this, we also add in a solidify modifier. And as we can see, the solidify modifier gives the shirt some thickness, which is good. And we can just leave this at the lowest setting. So let's 0.001 and let's increase this slowly until we have no clipping left. Let's go 0.01 and the clipping is gone for my shirt. Just play around with it until you have found your perfect setting. And as you can see now, we have a super smooth cloth animation. All right, now let's look at the dress simulation I created here. I did this the exact same way I created the shirt. So I started with this mesh right here, started with the shirt mesh actually, and just extruded it outwards and brought this one down right here. And then in the cloth simulation, I played around with all the settings. I also had quality step 30, vertex mesh 0.1 right here. Here I had tension 10, compression 0, because with the dress it was like super problematic with all the clipping. Uh, shear and bending to 0.1, uh, damping tension here to 25, I don't know why but this worked for me. Um, let's go down, the sewing was also minus 0.25 right here and the uh, distance and the uh, distance right here to the lowest setting and as you can see in the modifiers tab the solidify modifier is at the lowest setting of the thickness and i still have close to no clipping the way i achieved this is by selecting the character and actually changing in the collision setting the outer thickness to 0.005 so i had this one at 0.001 but if you increase this, the clipping can get reduced. So just be cautious, don't go too high up here. But if you have super strong clipping with your character, um, you can up this value right here. You have to keep in mind, Blender is not only created for cloth simulation, that's why it's still kinda laggy and kinda tricky to get it right. But just play around with the settings I showed you and I'm sure you can get great results. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I hope I can see you the next time. Bye guys!